really should get to work. Dorothy asked me to get some bags, but it slipped my mind, like, yeah. All oh, right, so you cut them open and reuse them? Well, it works a couple of times, but when it gets to the sixth patch up, it's, what, you think it's on its last legs, then? Yeah. Look, I'll get some when I come home, all right? Oh, that was a good leg. Cheers, right. I think I deserve a cup of tea after that, then. Ah. You know, it's a lovely day out there. Yes. Yeah, it's what makes you glad to be alive. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but sometimes that sun seems a little bit warmer. You know, the grass is a little bit greener. And the birds sing a little bit prettier in the trees. Don't tell me. You got lucky, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I did. All right, but look, you can't tell anyone, all right? Have you called you? <laughs> what a proud day that is. You ain't a ginger, after all. Well, you are, but not in the, uh, you know, rhyming yeah. sense of the word. Yeah, put it there, son. Well done. <laughs> uh, and more importantly, you did use her. Yeah. And she ain't there. Uh, and it all went well? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Well, you know, I hope so. <laughs> you know, it was special. I've never really felt that close to someone. We had this magical connection. Great, yeah, yeah. I took champagne and... Well, she said she didn't want any. She said she didn't want to be drunk. I mean, that's such a beautiful thing to say. Yeah. How late do you actually want to be at work, then? All right, yeah. I'll uh, see you later. There we go. Sorry about that. Cheers. Am I seeing right? A full refund with no arguments. What's this more for? So, you usually tell them that they spilt egg down the front or it stinks of B.O. Oh, she don't look too happy. Why don't you have your lunch and be a mate? Why don't you need me out here? What, the way you are today? I won't miss you one little bit. Look, tell me if I'm boring. Sorry? Are you all right? Look, I've been bursting to talk to you all day. Where have you been? Me and Bradley, we slept together. It was raining and I put these fairy lights up. It was perfect. Where'd you go? Oh, just this place. I, I don't know, Rube. I can't stop thinking about him. When I see him, I get butterflies in my stomach. I can't talk. I'm giving people refunds. Sounds like love to me. I was hoping you weren't going to say that. Well, it is, isn't it? Have you told him? I've never told any boy that I love him. Well, he should be your first. I feel sick. What if he doesn't say it back? You think Bradley don't love you? Of course he does. Tell him tonight. I can't. Yeah, you can. You two have got something really special together. Yeah, but you said you wanted to go out, so let's do that first, yeah? Yeah, but you'll be going on about him all night anyway. And I've got stuff arranged with Jack. I'm scared. Rush on. What you got in the bag? Present? <laughs> yeah, not quite. Uh, that's at work. I'm trying to work out what got this stupid grin on my face. You didn't tell him, did you? No, no, of course not. I mean, that's not much his business, is it? You all right? Yeah, I thought we could do something tonight. Yeah, yeah, if you like. Cut the wine if you want. Or yours. Then we can go to the house. Yeah, yeah, it was nice then, wasn't it? The main bedroom's even nicer. I mean, I feel bad going over there because of Ruby and everything, yeah. but... I'd really like to be alone with you again. Well, you know, I doubt I do viewings at night. <laughs> you were right. 
And you haven't second thoughts about anything? No, of course not. Good. Well, let me go and sort Grandad out, and then I'll know yours. Intrigued that she's got me in the sack. I mean, I can hear her right now. Not there, you plonker. Up a bit. Oh. <laughs> What'd you get up to afterwards? I mean, you're not the smoking type, are you? Oh, don't tell me. You got your action figures out and reenacted the storming of the Death Star. <laughs> <laughs> Red Luna, I'm going in. Hey. Hey, what's she like then, eh? Hell of a way to pop your cherry. Yeah, I wasn't a virgin, actually. Oh. Do, you, uh, do you want to say that a bit louder, son? They didn't quite hear you down at Leighton Orient. Are you all done? <laughs> Any more pop shots? Because you know I can take them. Aye, oh, aye. Look at his little red face. Enough before Stacey's even turned up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I asked you not to say anything. Well, if you can't share with a community, who can you share it with, mate? Eh? Exactly, and for one, I'm proud of you, Bradley. I mean, that first flush of lust has long passed us, look, Brian. Well, you try telling that to Minty at the moment. Yeah. Listen, you might have had your first notch on the bedpost, Sam, but I'm still with Daddy round here. Right. Sure. The Daddy? You got something to say to that, Jake? Oh, I don't talk, I do. Oh, now have a look at that, Brad. You see that icy stare? That's something you've got to aspire to, mate. <laughs> Do you know what? Stuff the lot here. Oh. Well, me and Stacey get up to you behind closed doors. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey. What are you doing? Boasting? No. Hey, Stacey, we heard you didn't want to be drunk the first time with this stud. I want to change your mind next time, man. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't run after her. Well, what's the golden rule, Jake? Treat me, keep him king. <laughs> oh. She'll be all right. She's a tough bird, your Stacey. I wouldn't go home too quickly, Jim. I reckon there's a cleaver with your name on it, mate. Yeah, it's walk off a duck's back for the lad. Later on, we'll be laughing about it, won't we? Well, Stacey, it wasn't me. I didn't say anything. Ignore him. Any He'll go away in a minute. Stace, come on. Now I know why you've had your head in the clouds today. You and him. Should have known he was an idiot like the rest of them. He ain't nothing like the rest of them over there. He's a proper gentleman. You know that as well as I do. I thought it was all supposed to be good. What do you mean? When you get together with someone, it's supposed to make you happy. You gave a 30 quid refund today. If that ain't happy, I don't know what is. Yeah, but that was then. Now I feel scared. Excited scared? No, like top board scared. That's good. Come here. Look, why don't you drink your cup of tea? Go over, give him a big kiss on his mush. You know you want to. <coughs> don't look too keen, though. Please just come round, Stace. You know I'm mad about you. <laughs> Right, here we go. It's no off feelings, ain't it? Hey, I'll come on, leave that. Come on, we're going to watch the match. Kick off eight o'clock. Come on. I trusted you in my most secret news and you just blabbed it across the old pub. You just wrecked a good thing, me and Stacey had. Well, look, don't be such a big girl. What's your problem? I mean, you're fine when you're talking about football or horse racing, but... You know, if anything gets in territory which you don't like, you leg it. What are you on about? I know you. You're a Brannin. But sometimes, Grandad, you've got to put yourself on the line. If you're going to react like this every time there's a bit of a wind-up, you ain't going to last too long in the city, are you? I could take any amount of wind-ups. And what I can't take is you stepping back and letting it happen. Let's just cut this. Whatever happened to a man being a man, eh? I mean, your father, when he was a lot younger than you, he used to go out, do whatever he had to do, come home, get to bed. There was no sessions about how fair was this, how fair was that. Yeah. Well, maybe he gave up trying. Oh, what, like he did with you, yeah? No, like you did with him. Bradley, look, you do not know what you're talking about. I mean, did he ever come to you and open up? Well, he came to me when he was in trouble. Look, you're a big boy, I love you and all that, but I'm not always going to be there to hold your hand when you're getting a bit of run-of-the-mill stick, son. I've got together with a girl who's amazing. And she gets me in here and she makes me feel ten foot tall. That's not run-of-the-mill. Yes. Well, I'm not coming after you. Of course, you're making this out to be a lot bigger than what it is.
I'm sorry if you think I'm being soft, but it's not easy for me. I've never had a dad to stand up for me. All I've ever had is mum. And yeah, that may have made me a bit more sensitive, but I'm no pushover either. And you do not need to toughen me up. I'm tough enough. I don't need anyone. Oh, well, come on, son, don't say What's that. What's the point in bothering with family if they're just going to hang you out to dry? Yeah, I can switch off if you want. I can come in, do chit-chat about football. But I don't see much point in calling you Grandad. What? If that's as far as you're prepared to go, I might as well just call you Jim, and we can nod to each other in the street. I'm sorry. I don't, I, I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. It took long enough to come and find me, didn't you? I mean, what were you doing? Sitting there thinking you hadn't done anything wrong? Blaming me? Yes. And you think that's right? No, no. No, 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 no. I'm an old kid. No, do not start that again. I'm stuck in my ways. We don't see things the way you youngsters do. I'll walk out right now. I love you, son. You don't know how much. I see your shoes in the hall when I go to bed. Your coat. Chucks me right up in here. The, the man's shoes. The man's coat. They're all grown up. The credit to all of us. When you're like this, you know. You're just like your dad. He was that willful. No, I'm not him. No! No, you're not, no. No. And if it had been any other argument, I'd been over here like a shot. I would. But what you said about your dad, you was right. I've never had anything with him. Nothing. And I don't want that to be the same story this time. With me and you. It's not. Sure? There's a hole here between us. And I now fault and we can't fill it. And I think we both feel it sometimes. Like today when big things are happening, you know, I feel that hole. That missing person. And I just don't know. <laughs> I suppose we just need to be careful. <laughs> Look out for each other. One step forward, not one step back. <clears throat> Look, Stace, I didn't mean for anyone to know what's going on. Yeah, it's all my fault, love. I'm sorry. Me and my big mouth. I don't care who knows. Hey! Oh, hey, watch it, you! I've got some chips back home. I'll put them in the oven. I don't want you two to worry about anything. I'm going to make it my number one priority to look after you and make sure no one takes the mickey. Oh, cheers, Grandad. But does that come before or after the vacuum? Bloody vacuuming. <laughs> what? Nothing, just a chill in the air. 